Jamaicans build some of the strongest houses in the Caribbean. Concrete, steel, grills. Some house so solid, even Hurricane Gilbert did a U-turn. But today, we are not looking at what Jamaicans do build. We are looking at what Jamaicans almost never build. Basement. In America, everybody and them grandmother have basement. Canada, a whole half of the house is underground. Europe, basement, wine cellars, bunkers and dungeons, everything. But in Jamaica, boy, if you tell a contractor we want a basement, he might look at you like you're asking him to build a spaceship. Why? Why the basement skip Jamaica like a bad ex? Why the idea never catch up? Today, we're going deep, literally in the geology, culture, cost, weather, history, and pure Jamaican reality. So grab a drink and get comfortable. To understand why Jamaicans don't build basements, you need to understand what's hiding below the soil. Jamaica isn't built on nice, soft, foreign dirt. No, sir. We're sitting on limestone, hard as school principal attitude, coral rock, which equates to ancient sea creatures packed into pure punishment, volcanic rocks, and bauxite-rich clay in some areas. This is Jamaica. You're not digging a basement. You're starting a fight with Earth itself. In Manchester, St. Anne, Clarendon, and parts of St. Catherine, the rock beneath the topsoil can be solid. It breaks tools, overheat machinery, and humble construction workers. Digging a basement in Jamaica isn't excavation. It's mining. Now let's talk money. People always ask, why don't Jamaicans build basement to add more space? The easy answer, it costs more than building a whole extra floor. Digging through rock requires heavy machinery, hydraulic rock breakers, jackhammers, TNT in extreme cases, skill operators, weeks of labor, additional structural reinforcement, and waterproofing. When a contractor sees basement, the man silently added three million Jamaican dollars to the coat just for the stress he's about to encounter. In the US or Canada, digging a basement may cost twenty to thirty thousand dollars. But in Jamaica, you're looking at five to ten million Jamaican dollars just to dig before you even pour concrete. A second floor often costs less. So what do Jamaicans do? Up. Always up. The next issue, water. Jamaica has surprising underground water activity. High water table in many lowland areas, seasonal flooding, massive rainfall events, and hurricane season overflow. You dig eight feet down in certain parts of St. Catherine, Montego Bay, Negril, or Kingston, suddenly, surprise, you discover Poseidon's front porch. Congratulations, your basement now has a built-in swimming pool. Life jacket sold separately. Even with waterproofing, Basements in flood-prone tropical climates are expensive nightmares. Water sneaks in through concrete pores, hairline cracks, joint points, pressure build-up, underground seepage, and heavy rain saturation. A basement in Jamaica during rainy season would stress you out more than your JPS bills. Jamaica is a hurricane magnet. Not every year, but when it hits, it hits hard. Melissa, for example. So basement in hurricane region requires thick retaining walls, drainage systems, pumps, backflow valves, and flood-proof entrances. In Jamaica, with rainfall spiking during storms, those systems must be industrialized grade. The average homeowner doesn't want to maintain a heavy-duty underwater fortress. They want simple, strong, elevated foundations. Basements also clash with our construction culture. Jamaicans love big veranda, upstairs bedrooms, rooftop patios, tall retaining walls, outdoor washrooms, and concrete for everything. But underground, we don't trust it. We are a people who grill windows and doors. Everything must be visible, secure, solid, and high off the ground. But basement, that just feel like hiding places for doppy, snakes and mongoose, and most importantly, thieves. Plus, for storage, 
we use the extra room, the veranda, the roof, the space above the closet, anti-garage, the car trunk, and anything but underground. Historical building styles in Jamaica, such as the Taino huts, board houses, plantation great houses, post-slavery cottages, scheme houses from the 1970s, even modern concrete homes, non-used basements. Why? Tropical heat make underground storage unnecessary. Ventilation was priority. House were built raised, not lowered. Flooding discouraged digging. Tools and machinery for deep excavation didn't exist. Once a country building culture forms, it rarely changes. So basements simply never had a chance. Security is a big deal in Jamaica. We design homes with visibility and control. A basement creates hidden blind spots at vulnerable entry points, increase unseen interior spaces. It is difficult to monitor and it feels unsafe during disasters or crime events. Jamaicans want to see everything. If we hear a noise, we want to look outside. Not wonder if it's coming from beneath the floor like a horror movie. In cold countries, basements help regulate temperatures. Warm air rises, cold stay below. Perfect for foreigners. But in Jamaica, basements trap humidity, mustiness, dampness, mold, and mildew. If you leave bread out in Jamaica for 10 minutes, it grow mold. Imagine a basement. Some architects argue that Jamaica could use basements in limited cases, such as hillside properties, low water table zones, area with soft soil, luxury homes, and multi-level modern designs. But even then, waterproofing maintenance is high, excavation cost is high, disaster risk is high, cultural acceptance is low, so basements remain rare. Basements in Jamaicans aren't impossible. They are just expensive and risky. So, will Jamaica ever adapt basements widely? Only if climate adapts, more hillsides are developed, technology reduces waterproofing costs, architecture evolves, soil study becomes standard practice. Otherwise, basements will stay a foreign culture. So now you know the truth. Jamaican houses don't have basements because the rock is too hard, the water too high, the hurricane too frequent, the culture too different, the cost too high, the risk too big, and the dopey them too brave. Basements simply didn't fit Jamaica. Thanks for watching the video and I would ask you one question. Would you build a basement in your Jamaican home? Comment below your answer. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I will see you in the next video. Peace.